Are you craving something sweet but worried about staying on track with your keto diet? Imagine indulging in rich, creamy desserts without the guilt. Today, we're diving into the world of keto desserts that not only satisfy your sweet tooth, but also keep you in ketosis. You see, the ketogenic diet has become incredibly popular, and for a good reason. It helps with weight loss, improves mental clarity, and boosts energy levels. But sticking to keto can be tough, especially when those dessert cravings hit. That's why I'm excited to share some keto desserts that taste so good, you won't believe they're low carb. Before we dive into the recipes, let's take a moment to understand what makes a dessert keto friendly. The key to staying in ketosis is maintaining a diet low in carbs, high in healthy fats, and free from sugar. But what does that actually mean when it comes to desserts? For starters, traditional desserts are usually loaded with sugar and refined flour, both of which are off limits on a keto diet. Instead, keto desserts rely on low carb ingredients that won't spike your blood sugar levels. We're talking about things like almond flour, which is not only low in carbs, but also adds a delicious nutty flavor and a satisfying texture. Then there's coconut flour, another keto staple that's perfect for baking because it absorbs moisture and helps give structure to your desserts. And let's not forget about sweeteners. Regular sugar is a no-go, but there are plenty of keto-friendly alternatives. Erythritol is one of the most popular. It's a sugar alcohol that tastes almost exactly like sugar, but doesn't impact blood glucose levels. Then there's stevia, a natural sweetener derived from a plant and monk fruit, which has zero carbs and a clean, sweet taste. These ingredients not only make your desserts keto-friendly, but also offer benefits like keeping you full longer, helping you manage cravings, and ensuring you stay on track with your diet. Now, let's get to the part you've been waiting for, the recipes. I'm gonna walk you through three of my favorite keto desserts that are easy to make, incredibly delicious, and guaranteed to satisfy your sweet tooth. Keto Cheesecake. This dessert is a game changer because it's so rich and creamy, you'd never guess it's low carb. Here's what you'll need. Cream cheese, eggs, almond flour, butter, and your favorite sugar substitute like erythritol or monk fruit. First, let's talk about the crust. Instead of using graham crackers, we're using almond flour mixed with melted butter and a bit of sweetener. Press this mixture into your pan and bake it until it's golden and fragrant. This crust is not only keto friendly, but also adds a lovely nutty flavor that pairs perfectly with the creamy filling. Now for the filling, you'll want to beat the cream cheese until it's smooth, then add your sweetener and vanilla extract. Next, add the eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition to ensure your cheesecake has a smooth, creamy texture. Pour the filling over the baked crust and bake until the center is just set. One tip, bake your cheesecake in a water bath. This helps prevent cracking and gives the cheesecake a silky, smooth texture. And here's a pro tip. Let your cheesecake cool slowly, first at room temperature and then in the fridge for several hours or overnight. This helps the flavors meld and makes for a firmer, more satisfying dessert. Whether you slice it into bars, make mini cheesecakes or go for a full size cake, this dessert is always a crowd pleaser. Next up is a dessert that might surprise you, chocolate avocado mousse. You might be wondering, avocado in a dessert? But trust me, this mousse is incredibly creamy and rich, and you won't taste the avocado at all. Here's what you'll need. Ripe avocados, unsweetened cocoa powder, coconut cream, a sweetener of your choice, and a splash of vanilla extract. The avocado provides the creamy base without the need for dairy, making this dessert not only keto-friendly, but also vegan and dairy-free. To make the mousse, scoop out the avocado and blend it with the cocoa powder, coconut cream, sweetener, and vanilla until it's smooth and velvety. You can adjust the sweetness and cocoa to your taste. If you want a more intense chocolate flavor, add a bit more cocoa powder. For a creamier texture, add more coconut cream. One of the best things about this dessert is how quick it is to make. In just a few minutes, you have a decadent chocolate -y treat that's perfect for those times when you need something sweet right now. For an extra touch, you can top the mousse with a dollop of whipped coconut cream or sprinkle it with a few keto-friendly chocolate chips. Lastly, we have peanut butter fat bombs. If you're new to keto, you might not be familiar with fat bombs, but they're a staple in the keto community. These little bites are packed with healthy fats, making them per perfect for curbing cravings and keeping you full between meals. For this recipe, you'll need peanut butter, make sure it's sugar-free, coconut oil, and a sweetener like stevia or erythritol. 
You can also add a pinch of salt and some vanilla extract for extra flavor. To make the fat bombs, simply melt the coconut oil and mix it with the peanut butter, sweetener, and any flavorings you're using. Spoon the mixture into silicone molds or a mini muffin tin and let them set in the fridge or freezer until firm. What's great about fat bombs is that they're so versatile. You can customize them by adding cocoa powder for a chocolatey twist, shredded coconut for some texture, or even chopped nuts for a bit of crunch. Plus, they're portable and easy to store so you can have a keto-friendly snack ready whenever you need it. Now that you've got some delicious recipes to try, let's talk about a few tips to ensure your keto desserts turn out perfectly every time. First, choosing the right sugar substitute is crucial. Erythritol, monk fruit and stevia are all excellent choices, but they behave differently in baking. For instance, erythritol has a similar sweetness level to sugar, but can sometimes have a cooling effect in your mouth. Monk fruit is sweeter than sugar, so you'll need to adjust the quantity accordingly. Stevia is very potent, so a little goes a long way. Another important tip is getting the texture right, which can be tricky with keto-friendly flours. Almond flour is great for most desserts because it provides a denser texture similar to a nutty shortbread. However, if you're using coconut flour, remember that it's very absorbent, so you'll need to use more liquid ingredients to achieve the right consistency. If your dessert turns out too dry, try adding a bit more moisture with ingredients like cream, sour cream, or additional eggs. One common mistake people make with keto baking is overmixing the batter, which can lead to a tough or dense final product. To avoid this, mix your ingredients just until they're combined, and don't forget to let your baked goods cool completely before cutting or serving. This helps them firm up and improves the texture. Finally, don't be afraid to experiment with flavors and add-ins, vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, or a dash of sugar-free chocolate chips can take your keto desserts to the next level. You can also add a bit of coffee to chocolate-based desserts to enhance the chocolate flavor. Let's address a few common questions you might have about keto desserts. Question one, can keto desserts really taste as good as regular desserts? Absolutely. With the right ingredients and techniques, you can create keto desserts that are just as rich and satisfying as their high carb counterparts. In fact, many people can't even tell the difference. The key is using high quality ingredients and following recipes that are specifically designed for keto. Question two, what's the best way to store keto desserts? Most keto desserts like cheesecake and fat bombs store well in the fridge. Just make sure they're in an airtight container to keep them fresh. For longer storage, you can freeze desserts like fat bombs or keto cookies. When you're ready to enjoy them, simply let them thaw in the fridge or at room temperature. Question three, are there any potential drawbacks to eating keto desserts? While keto desserts are a healthier option compared to traditional sweets, it's still important to enjoy them in moderation. They're higher in fats and calories, so overindulging could impact your weight loss goals or lead to excess calorie consumption. Also, some sugar substitutes like sugar alcohols can cause digestive discomfort if consumed in large amounts. Just remember, balance is key. There you have it, delicious, guilt-free keto desserts that you can enjoy while staying on track with your diet. Whether you're in the mood for a rich cheesecake, a quick chocolate mousse, or a bite-sized fat bomb, these recipes have you covered. And as a special thank you for watching, I've put together a downloadable PDF with the top five keto dessert recipes mentioned in this video. You can find the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more keto-friendly tips and recipes.